Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Aaron Painting. Today I'm painting up Stella Kaufmann, female merchant of Dungeldorf, and once again I'm going to use mainly contrast paints to get her done uh, quick and easy, and um, yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, she's a, a colorful character, and I like the mini a lot. So first thing I want to do is, uh, as usual, get the skin done, and for that I'm going to use Gilliman Flesh. I forgot to mention that the model was primed with the uh, Wraith Bone Spray. Uh, I don't know why that's so hard for me to remember, but uh, yeah, Wraith Bone Spray. Anyway, next I'm going to take some Severim Sabia, and I'm going to use two coats on this, and this is for her hair. And the second coat. Next up, some wildwood, and this is for her undershirt and her shoes. Next up, some Volupus pink, and this is for her puffy sleeves as well as her hat. Now, some Talasa blue, and this is for the mane of her dress. While waiting for the blue to dry, I'll take some skeletal hoard, skeleton hoard, and paint the feather in her hat. Next up, I'll take some uh, wraith bone and do a bit of cleanup. Uh, as you might have noticed, I also hit the eyes with some wraith bone, uh, as that was the closest to white. And now I'll take a little bit of model color black and dot in some irises. Next up, some apothecary white, and this is for her stockings and the little arrow shapes on her dress. Now for the belt pouches and the belt, and for that I'm using Psycho Brown. Next up, some glorious gold, and this is for the few metallic details. Now that the gold has dried, I'm gonna take some Reichland flesh shade and wash, yeah, the metallics. So with that, uh, Stella Kaufmann is pretty much complete. Time to get some paint on the base though. So. I'll take some mechanical standard grey and paint in the cobblestones. Next up, it's time to wash the base, and for this, I'm using Null Oil. Now that the Null Oil has finally dried, I'm gonna take some Terminatsu stone and dry brush the base, and after that I'm gonna paint the base rim black. And she's done. 
I'm pretty happy with her. She's not as pretty as the one Nana did over at the Cabana Minis, the picture from the King Games website. But she looks reasonably uh, like her and is uh, good enough for tabletop value. And uh, yeah, I uh, actually really like how the hair turned out. And I like how colorful she is. Um, anyway, let me know below what you think. And uh, till next time, take care and bye bye.